So I continue to build on this skeleton clock. As you can see, the clock is uh, almost finished. I need to polish and blue everything. Uh, but what I'm gonna do now is get on to building a case. You can see here, I've got the case modeled in CAD. And this is made out of brass and a wooden base. Um, you can see I've got two doors, a front door and a rear door. That door is gonna be held together with pins. The reason you wanna have a rear door is so you can easily access the pendulum and adjust the time. And these will be simple pivot uh, hinges. We'll pivot on this uh, point up there. And I think I'll use a magnet to keep these doors closed. So what I need to do is I need to cut a lot of brass. Uh, but one of the things that's going to cause me problem is the length on these is longer than the bed of my mill will accept. Uh, so I've got to figure out what to do. You can see the construction. I've got these tops mitered. Um, and those are three eighths by a half inch um, shaft. The sides are three eighths square. And it should be all able to be all screwed together. I'll probably use a little bit of epoxy to hold the glass in place. Uh, you can see the wood base has got mounting holes down below. Uh, but it should be a nice looking case uh, and give a good finished look to the uh, skeleton clock. So here I am milling the slots. As you can see, I've got it clamped in a vise. Uh, but that slot, I'm only doing a six and a half inch of travel. And what I'll do is I'll cut that slot in and then I will simply move down in the vise, move this shaft down and cut another slot. So I, these are 17 inch length. So I had to cut three channels. You can see here me moving down to cut the second channel. Uh, but it works out fine. Um, as long as that, that, uh, vise is really square. Uh, I made sure with a dial indicator beforehand to square that thing up and was able to cut that slot in. Next is the holes. Those holes are tough because you can imagine drilling into that uh, long length. So what I did here is I made a little fixture, a little template uh, to locate that hole. So I've got the four posts uh, complete uh, with the slot, but now I've got to drill that hole in the end. Uh, I made this fixture uh, that'll fit on this end. It'll serve as a, a drill guide and hopefully we'll get that in the right spot and we'll tap these holes. So I'll move over to the drill press. All right, so I've got this mounted on the drill press. Um, you can see I've got this uh, square, the square to the vise. So that looks good. And then this template, um, I want the hole in the corner opposite this slot. So this template should just fit on there tightly. Now I've got to get everything lined up. All right, I've got all four of the uh, side posts for the uh, frame made. You can see I've got the holes all uh, drilled and tapped, slots in place. Um, so we'll keep making, I've cut this now for uh, the door, uh, but I'll make that and maybe I'll give you a video of uh, how we assemble that door. Uh, but more to come uh, once I get this case done, then we'll start polishing, uh, polishing out the clock and finishing things up. So I'm making progress. Uh, hope you like it. If you do, please subscribe and love to hear any comments. Take care.